I was gonna start the video, but I got a little bit distracted with my my first fly bar. Only one ninety nine from the thrift store. Yeah. Let's go. Hey everybody, Peeps here, and welcome back to another Goodwill Games video. These are always some of my favorite videos to make. If you haven't seen them before, long story short, I go to thrift stores and find a bunch of random really good games purchased at a great value. And then I play them. No, seriously, sometimes they actually are good. You never know, that's half the fun. Before we start, I wanted to be a little self-indulgent and point out that I'm almost at two million subscribers. You're the one who steps up and gets things done around. You're doing a great job. Despite the fact that I'm obviously very hardworking and obviously deserving of such an esteemed milestone. I mean, come on, I've done two whole videos so far this year. Two! Okay, like, one and a half, I guess. A great job! I would never ask anyone to like and subscribe to this video so that it can get shared around in the YouTube algorithm and I can get to two million subscribers, specifically by the end of the day. I wouldn't do that because I'm such a humble and down-to-earth guy! Seriously, though, I'm gonna look pretty stupid if I don't hit two million subscribers today because you... Help me. All right, anyway, the first game I found is Buzzy, wait, no. <laughs> Let's explore the airport with Buzzy the Knowledge Bug. The first thing you may notice is that giant humongous entertainment logo. If you're familiar with my channel at all, chances are you're also familiar with some of the humongous entertainment games, specifically Putt-Butt and Pajama Sam, as I've done some videos on them in the past. This game is a bit different from those titles, though, the main difference being, it's nowhere near as fun. Okay, maybe that's a bit harsh. Unlike the more well-known junior adventure games, Explore the Airport, along with the other two games in the series, Let's Explore the Jungle and Let's Explore the Farm, are specifically edutainment games, leaning a bit more towards the edu part. Maybe we'll go to the airport and have some fun. Maybe we'll go to the airport, come on everyone. Maybe we'll go to the airport, except maybe not because the airport sucks. Seriously though, I really wish I had found one of the other two games because the airport is just about the last place in the entire world that I would want to explore. With the qualifier that I wouldn't have to go to the airport to get on a plane in order to get there. I mean, obviously I wouldn't want to be dropped off in the middle of the Sahara Desert or something. But I genuinely cannot think of a place that I would rather be less. Come back to me on this. But hey, this isn't a real airport, it's a virtual one. A virtual airport where you can click on things. My canon favorite thing to do. As per the usual, there's some pretty bare bones stuff. Zero days since an accident, huh? I'm kind of curious what happens if you keep clicking it. But not that curious. There's also some more creative or interesting things. You were an inspiration to many. Rest in peace. As well as some that are a little bit disturbing. <laughs> what do you do other than click on things? Well, you learn things, of course. You can learn about various airport-related stuff like air control towers, baggage claim, different kinds of aircraft like the Boeing 747, or you can learn about even more complicated things such as peanuts, dog, or even beverage. And if we don't stop learning things here pretty soon, I'm gonna need a beverage or two of my own. How about we play some of the actual games that this game has to offer? There's five games in total. Trivia, which is pretty self-explanatory. Coloring book, which is also pretty self-explanatory. What is it, which is exactly the same thing as trivia. And lost luggage, which is... Okay, I guess. 
and find it, which is by far the best one in my opinion. Buzzy picks a random object located somewhere in the airport and you have to go and find it. It's a pretty simple concept, but I can't lie, I did have some fun with it. The best part of Explore the Airport is the classic humongous entertainment charm and there's a lot of different areas scattered around, some of which are harder to find than others. But I didn't really feel compelled to look through any of them until this mini game gave me a reason to. And if I hadn't, I would have missed stuff like the car rental stand. Okay, I got this one. You'll like it. It's a purple convertible, yeah. This car can take you to the moon, man. It's a butt butt reference. I love you, butt butt. This amazing car truck with dancing boxers, a goldfish, and freaking rupees inside of it. And I can't forget the lost and found guy. How about this? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Oh my gracious goodness, no. He is by far the best. Huh? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? Huh? Huh? Yeah? Before we move on to the next game, how about we find one more item? Now, let's see if you can find it. Ah, easy peasy. We already know where this one is. It's not working? Oh no, don't tell me we have to click over 800 times until it gets back to zero. We do. We'll eventually get there. Come on! Okay. Oh god. The days are going by so fast! Ah, ah. Oh no, if I'm gonna make it! Ah. Oh. 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 All this time that I still haven't thought of a place I'd rather be less than the airport, so I asked you guys on Twitter to help me out. Let's see if I can find some good responses. 836 replies. You guys have nothing better to do, apparently. It's okay, neither do I. That's why I decided to make videos in the first place. A lot of people are saying the doctor's office. I'm gonna have to hard disagree on that because if I'm at the doctor's office, there's a chance I'm gonna get sick which would mean I have an excuse to get out of whatever it is I had to go to the airport for. I think some people did not read the rules here. North Korea, I, how am I gonna get to North Korea without going to the... You know what, it's okay, I can't follow instructions either. People are coming at like very, very specific situations where it's like, I'm talking about more of a general situation, not like at the park when there's a bomb dropping. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't count. Buried alive, that, yeah, I don't know if that counts, but if it does, Sure. Prison. <laughs> that one does technically count. So yeah, I got prison. Some people said prison, so prison. Mostly just because I have to move on to the next segment though. Because if you could just go and then come home, they wouldn't be that bad. So you didn't specify that you have to stay there. I don't know. Who cares? All right, up next we have one that I can't lie, I am pretty excited about. Storybook Weaver Deluxe. Storybook Weaver is a program where, true to the name, you can create your own stories. Or weave them, if you prefer. According to the box, there's thousands of images and backgrounds to use, but there's also a decent chunk of music and sound effects as well. You can even use your own pictures if you are so inclined, as well as record your own voice using the in-program voice recorder. I've messed around with this for a bit, but I think I am now ready to create my own full-length story. I don't know if the world is ready for this, but here we go anyway. Ah, is this working? Okay. Adventures on the Oregon Trail by Peebo Hargrove. We bought a lot of supplies. Now we can start our journey. The journey started with some troubles. Plessy was very mad with the group leader, Big James Jr. <sighs> Luckily, Big James Jr. always keeps his cool no matter what the circumstance. Hello. While Plessy wasn't watching, her only child, Timifer, walked into an oblivion portal that had just appeared without her even noticing. <laughs> Little James Jr., who was supposed to be watching, duh, Timifer, felt real bad about it. Oops. The group stopped by a lake located next to a school playground in New Jersey. Plessy waded into the waters in order to breathe no more breaths, for she was stricken with grief over her only son, Timofer, who died probably in the oblivion portal from the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Little James Jr. was upset. What? But Big James Jr. kept his cool as always. Hello. 
The group stopped to, to play a baseball game. Everyone was happy, if only for a short while. Hello. Little Moraine, who was small even, even for her age, was up to bat. Tinker McGee, who was normally known to be the best pitcher this side of Coppertown, was off his game today. He wound up a pitch and... Ouch! Ever the cool, forgiving soul, Big James Jr. tried to keep the spirits up with a little encouragement. Well done. The group finally made it to Oregon. It was everything they ever dreamed. It even had a killer water park. After just a few hours, the police showed up to take away and execute Tinker McGee for tax evasion and serial identity theft crimes. Uh oh. Not because of killing the kid. They didn't know about that. Uh, Big and Little James Jr. were resting after this strenuous journey when all of a sudden the literal ghost of Plessy appeared and chucked Little James Jr. into the world of death. Hello. Because of how he didn't watch Timma for that one time earlier before. <coughs> Big James Jr. was finally a broken man after having lost his entire Oregon trailing group. So he walked out to the fields uh, one dark night and put an end to his suffering. He paused for a moment before uttering his final words. Hello. <laughs> Just after that happened, the oblivion gate reappeared. Timfer walked out unharmed. <laughs> But everyone was dead now. Kinda like in that Stephen King book where there's a bunch of aliens inside of a fog and except not really because a kid died in that one and not the other guy and it was a little different in a few other ways also. The end. Also this other girl never got it into the story because I forgot to copy paste her onto the second page. Oops. Okay, the end's for real now. Also, here's a buff six-armed man I probably should have added to the story because that would have been pretty sweet. Okay, bye. Well, that sure was... something. Well, on to the next something, McDonald Land Silly Games. You know it's got to be good if it comes in one of these old, huge PC boxes. Let's open this thing up. Wait, it comes with a free Happy Meal coupon? We have to open this thing up ASAP. There we go. Oh, here it is. McDonald's. McDonald Land software for kids. Free Happy Meal. I wonder if this thing still works. Expires December 31st, 1998. Just missed it. Install. Run. Wow. The Happy Meal Workshop. What an honor to see the famous McDonald's goop being made in person. Hey! Hello to all my McDonald's land visitors. What a great day for playing games. The man, the myth, the legend himself, Ronald freaking McDonald. This is just the most disturbing thing I've seen in a while, honestly. I'm getting some serious Five Nights at Freddy's vibes from Birdie over here. Hello to all my McDonald's land visitors. What a great day for playing games. You just said that, Ronald. I'm no longer impressed with you. We have so many things you can do here at McDonaldland. I can hardly wait to show you around. It's actually pretty jarring to me how much Ronald talks in this. I don't remember him doing much of anything growing up other than brainwashing children into eating his crack-laced hamburgers and french fries. Well, that and occasionally breakdancing. Out of all the things he says in this game, though, my favorite by far would have to be... Alright, there's four games to play in McDonald Land Silly Games, assuming you don't count mix and match, which... I don't. Let's start with... Ch jump and slide. Great choice. Who do you want to be? Oof, Ronald hitting us with the deep questions right off the bat, I see. I guess I always wanted to be a YouTuber with two million subscribers when I grew it up, but that's probably not gonna happen. I don't know... Uh, pizza. <laughs> hmm, I think I'll play as, uh, Remus. 
Against the computer player, Hamburgle. My favorite characters, Remus and Hamburgle. This little virtual board game is essentially shoots and ladders. You roll the wheel at the top and watch what happens. Hamburglar's turn. Four. Pretty exciting stuff. There is literally no strategy in this at all. In fact, Ronald himself even admits as much. If you're trying to come up with a strategy, yeah, forget it. It's all in the spin of the radar. And this is in the strategy section of the help page, by the way. Hey, hey congratulations, you won. Whoa, I'm the jump and slide champion? Yes. Yay! Yes. Yay! I've never been so happy in my entire life. Except for when I use my first fly bar, of course. Nothing tops that. And up next we have... Domino's. Great choice. Welcome to my treehouse. When you're ready to start playing dominoes, just click on the dominoes and we'll get started. Help. Uh, it looks like Birdie has a stalker. Or two? Okay, make that three! I'd say we should report these guys to Ronald, but I wouldn't bother because, uh, I'm pretty sure he likes it. Click on the dominoes you want. As you can see, I put a lot of planning and thought into this. Okay, here we go! Domino time! Congratulations, you won! The third game is... Tic-Tac-Toe. Great choice. Oh, are we glad you could join us in the hamburger patch today. Yahoo! We have some of our best times here. Ugh, it's freaking Tic-Tac-Toe. What can I really say about this that would add anything of value? Rubble, rubble, bring it on home, burgers! These are the kind of problems that I have, guys. I don't know if you can relate to this or not. Between the mind-numbing gameplay and the crowd's incredibly lackluster cheers... Fry girl, fry girl, she's our girl. If she can't do it, nobody will. I think I'm going insane. Congratulations, you won. I don't care this time. At all. Okay, maybe a little bit. And the last game is... Find a treasure. But I refuse to say anything about it other than it is a battleship ripoff because the longer I play this, the more killing myself begins to feel like a... Great choice. While the games may not have been that entertaining, I do find the creepy 3D graphics to be oddly appealing. They're just so incredibly 90s. I love it. And believe it or not, there actually is some fun to be had here. All those Ronald sound bites from the menus and especially his long monologues in the help section make for some pretty amazing YouTube poop material. And you know what? I think I'll just leave you guys with this. Hey, Hamburglar makes me hard. Anyway. Uh, Ronald, don't you think that's a little risque for McDonald land? Back off. Hey, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Again, if you want to help me out, hit that like button and subscribe so I can hit the two, get the two million, please. Thank you. Make sure you check out the other Goodwill Games videos. I'll have at least one of them up here for you. Or you can check out my stream archive channel video where I played a couple of these games uh, right here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.